All right, we're going to take a quick look at uh, Dragon OS Pi 64. It's um, basically it was the Wyvern uh, image sensor image uh, that's uh, 20.04 Arch 64-bit uh, Ubuntu base for the Pi, uh, and I just took that and expanded upon it and uh, put a desktop environment and started making it more like the full Dragon OS Focal, which uh, was really meant or really only runs on 64-bit uh, x64 bit um, laptops PCs so on and so forth um, uh, the performance um, seems okay uh, you'll see uh, right away though there's a slight difference in what I'm showing in this video versus if you get this up and running uh, the latest beta 2 and that's this uh, the window manager so really uh, all I did was uh, did a sudo app dash get or after an update uh, pulled in open box and um, pulled that down and uh, went under uh, preferences LXQT settings session settings and changed the window manager to open box as you can see up here and then logged it logged out logged back in otherwise you're going to be missing the minimize and some other uh, uh, features there so that's that's one quick change uh, other than that you're going to have to manually expand the file system uh, otherwise you're going to be sitting at uh, a size of about 13 gigs with 11 being used only giving you about uh, a gig free so um, this works a little different than Raspbian or Raspberry Pi OS um, there's maybe some other way you can do it uh, other than taking the uh, SD card after you flashed it and offline using something else like a partition manager like I've shown in previous videos to expand the file size out to take into account your full 16 gigabyte or preferably 32 gigabyte or better SD card so that's something separate but this just shows you you get the card flash we're going to take a look at using uh, Yate and Yate BTS uh, with the Raspberry Pi and a Blade RF XA9 so let's see uh, I've got uh, top pulled up here just so we can keep an eye on the CPU usage and uh, and then maybe if we get a second and uh, there's been some questions about sending SMS with uh, the caller ID changed we'll take a look at that maybe here in a second but anyways to get uh, the 8 and the 8 BT BTS up and running we can change into the user source uh, the 8 folder that's left within the image here and we'll need to use the blade rf tool to load the correct fpga for our radio so we'll do that and just like uh, with the full dragon OS, all we should have to do is start the apache 2 with a start command and this is all pre-configured so We'll get that started and we'll take a look at localhost slash NIPC. If I would spell it right, localhost. All right, so we can see we have the uh, web server up and running and a couple things we need to configure. You're probably going to want to add subscriber. Um, if you want to be able to send uh, SMS, so we'll try we'll try that. Uh, let's see. Take a look at an older phone I've got and throw away MZ. Um, uh, let's see, SIM card that's in it. So we'll try and add subscriber. probably cut some of this uh, video out so don't be surprised if the MZ is short
All right, the rest of the settings, uh, we'll give this a try here. We'll save those settings, and then we'll go over to the country code. And we need to configure this. So I'm not 100% sure the SMSC, but um, I'll configure it like so. BTS configuration, change to 900. Come down here. Pick a frequency. Save. And we'll stop there, and that should be enough to get us going. In this window, we'll run Yate with a little bit of verbosity here. And so we've got Yate up and going, and we would have taken all appropriate precautions, uh, shielding, uh, so on and so forth, um, so that we're not transmitting. Uh, out uh, to somewhere we shouldn't be. So um, I've got the phone off of airplane mode and we're waiting for a connection, which I've just got a connection here. Uh, can't probably really tell on the left, but uh, now I'm just waiting for a, a welcome message to be sent. Looks like it maybe is going to come across. So I just got my allocated phone number, which is uh, allocated one, two, three, four, five, six, and I can call the David at three two eight four three. Let's try this. Three two eight four three. Put on speaker. Might be able to hear that. So one echo test. Test, test, test. This is a test. All right. So hang up. We'll hang up on there. And now let's see. Let's keep this connected here for a second. And we'll jump back over. And we'll take a look at this uh, Yate BTS SMS send. This is not included in Dragon OS. This is something I just was going to try on a fly here. It may or may not work. We'll just stick right in the directory here. We'll do git clone. Pull down Yate BTS SMS send. Change in. We'll do a make. Do the sudo make install. And let's check some of the other directions they give here. We'll connect. We'll just use netcat and connect on 5038. We're connected to Yate. And let's make sure. Let's do help SMS send. Oop, let's see. SMS. And I'm probably going to have to reload. Let's see, can I do it? Let's see. All right, we might have wanted to stop this first because we installed that into the 8 directory. Let's come back. Okay, all right, so now we can see the example. which lines up there and so we'll use the MSISDN and the caller and the message and just out of curiosity we'll try 
and see. Oop. Let's see. We'll use not NIB but NIPC list. NIPC list. I think NIB is going to work. Interesting. Uh, all right, well, we'll try and send a message. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and we'll just say hello. Let's see. So I did get the text, the SMS, although the sender is unknown. Try with a number. Alright, so that did work. I got an SMS coming from 1234. So, uh, I don't know what the difference would be. We'll see. All right, so to some extent, the SMS sends and it looks like you can put a number. I'm not really sure. I'll have to try this a little bit more to see about the actual name uh, being being changed, uh, the actual caller itself. But anyways, that's um, a way to get up and running with uh, Yate BTS. This is on a Pi, Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gigabyte model. Um, you can see the CPU usage and um, yeah overall seems to work uh, pretty well there's one other thing I guess I could show you if you do localhost NIPC slash custom I think it's sms.php you might be able to Let's see if it sends. Hmm. Uh, Subscriber is not online. Try. Oh, no, well, no wonder you got to put the uh, MZ in there versus the uh, over here. You could use the MSI as the end. So, okay. All right, well, uh, that should uh, get you up and going uh, pretty quickly with uh, Yay, Yay BTS on a Raspberry Pi 4. And then if you really want to get into sending um, a SMS uh, in a test environment, that's uh, how you could do that. All right, thank you.